hello, today I'm here with a new video and as you may be hearing, I have a cold. Um, it's starting to get better now, but I haven't been sick for like a week. Uh, I still, my nose, I don't know what it's called in English. Um, my head, you know, when it's, I don't know this term in English. I can write them down here and you know your head feels like so well I have felt this for like a week and I have been <laughs> I have been working um so I have like okay up, go to work come home change my clothes and then been in the sofa the <laughs> whole day until I have getting back to bed so I am not <clears throat> the healthiest person right now and um, yeah my voice is a little bit different so I hadn't filmed for like a week and there has been no video for a week <laughs> and I hope I doesn't sound too awful so I can put up this video so today I'm going to do a get rid with me and I'm testing some new base products I usually don't test so many base products uh, on my channel so I wanted to do this so I got one two three four things to try out I think it is four and yeah so I will do my base in this video and I am I have gone through my makeup collection <laughs> when I've been sick I've been so bored I really wanted to film something but now my voice is pretty good it hasn't been this good in a couple of days so yeah um I've been going through my makeup collection because it was like the only thing that I could do um, and I found some things that are almost empty um, but I don't use them anymore because I have found things I like more so I'm going to use some products that I usually don't use uh, right now uh, yeah just stop babbling so I'm going to use my Kat Von D Locket primer it's not so much left in this one but I don't use it anymore because I don't like it that much and uh, I have to use it up uh, so I'm going to try to use it now for b until it's empty so yeah and it's this primer does not work with my oh I took a lot of primer it doesn't work with my serum foundation from The Ordinary and I have used that foundation almost every time that I've done my makeup um, No, so that's why I haven't used this Kat Von D and also I don't know where me and Kat Von D are standing uh, <coughs> so yeah and for foundation I'm going to use my Lumina Nordic nude natural glow i really love this foundation and it's not so much left i don't know how much because it's you can't see it and then this is a little bit too dark for me so i usually use the nyx total control in the color pale to mix these two but this one is so mattifying and it's everybody seems to love this even the people that I know are dry and I'm dry and I don't like this foundation so I don't know if it's me <laughs> that is wrong or not but it's not so much left in this and this this is pretty much left but I want to use this up and um, so I'm going to use these two today and I have been so bad with answering comments I have some comments on my latest video that I haven't answered yet and I have not made comments on videos that I have checked out <sighs> I need to be better at that especially to answer my own comments I'm sorry for that but <clears throat> my life hasn't been that great this last week so I'm taking my Real Technique sponge and it was such a long time I used this foundation combo so I don't know how it will look and I'm going to try to make another video after this, so we have to put up with this voice for two videos, maybe more. Maybe this is my 
real voice now. This is my new voice. <clears throat> and one thing that's happened, my boyfriend, he's starting to get sick now when I'm getting better. We always do like that. We're we usually not sick at the same time. And that's pretty good because we were one time. Uh, we ate pizza for like four days in a row because I was sick, he was sick. We didn't want to cook anything, make food. Uh, so we just ordered pizza, take frozen pizza and order pizza. That was not a good week. Okay, this. I look so freaking glowy. Why doesn't I use this more? Okay, so now into the new product. I need a makeup wipe. I'm sorry for this is going to be a long video, but I have missed to talk to you and like just to talk about makeup. So this is going to be a long and shady video, I think. I will try to speed it up maybe a little bit. One of the new things I have bought is a... Um, Glow Skin Extra Glam Highlighter Stick from Nabla and yes, it's coming a whole video is a so freaking big whole video, but I am waiting for my last package uh, from Colourpop it has been at the customs uh, for like one week now and I am usually for me, the customs hold my package for a week and then I get it, so it's pretty fast I know people that has to wait for like months, but I was I just like give me my package and it's not bought in 2019. So we are going to use this Nabla stick and after the package has arrived with Colourpop, I'm going to make that whole video and it's going to be freaking long. I don't know even know if I want to do it. So this is a glow stick. Extra Glam Highlighter Stick. I have never used one of these. And this is in the color Surreal. And it looks like this. And I am a little bit afraid. But it it doesn't say on the box how you should do this. Because I am stupid and I don't know how to do it. But it's supposed to be like... Um, you can have it on your sticky base uh, before you set your foundation. And then... Put a highlighter over it. I think I will do it today. I will just see how this looks. And I think, yeah, this is vegan. So I don't know, is it like just. How are you made? I don't think you can see it. I really like this foundation. Why don't I use this more? It looks so freaking glowy. And I don't know if you should mix this with, or buffing it out or something just supposed to do it. no that did not look good okay, so I like the shine of it I don't know if you can see it but I really need to buff this out okay so this when I just took it on it like layered on top of my foundation now you see this? This was really really nice. Now it's blended into the skin as well. And this didn't take it up, the sponge. This looks really good. I'm really happy with it. I don't know how much you can see but my foundation is a bit glowy as well. But this is a little, I don't know if it's maybe a little pink to it. I really like this. Oh, maybe this is my new thing. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to put on some concealer. And I am using the my, my voice. My voice. Have you been sick yet this year? I usually get sick around March, February. February, March. So it comes super early this year. I usually am sick like two times 
per year or something like that and I am like never home from work <laughs> okay so yeah I really like this glow stick Um, I need to set this foundation because it is um, it don't set itself so I'm going to take a powder from Lumine a powder brush and it has been, been such a long time since I set my foundation because with the ordinary I don't need to set it and I feel it feels now that I have a lot on my face and I hate that feel feeling and that's maybe why I stopped wearing this foundation combo because my face feels so dry uh, I don't know if it is the primer or not but it feels so dry and I can steal the glow stick it shines through a little bit and I love that Okay, so on to the next new thing, and I don't know why I bought this. I have wanted this for so long, because everybody has raved about it when it first came out. I didn't buy it then, but I bought it now, and it's the NYX Professional Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I think it there is a cream, and this is the powder one. I don't know why I... Why oh, bought this? I have no freaking idea. But I have it now. Um, the packaging is very, very plasticky, and you can hear it. The shades are a little bit loose, and I don't like the packaging at all. Uh, it looks like this. You can change these, so you can take them out if you want to. I wanted to buy singles first um, and put it. They have like four pans as well. So you can buy it, but they, I think this was cheaper to buy as a whole before, uh, than buy those small. So, okay, stop b babbling. I'm going to use this for my contour, and I do not do much contour, as uh, I think you know. And I think maybe this shade would be good for me, and that is Sculpt. It's the lightest one. B like this one, I can't use it on my face. Um, and this seems a little bit shimmery. But I'm going to use this Sculpt and I'm going to use it on the Linda Holberg brush. And I hate doing this. I hate this contouring trend. Because I'm not good at it. <coughs> and I think... It feels so hard for me because I am this pale to find a good shade so it doesn't look too strange. If you want me to do it, I can do like. But I I have thought about doing like products for pale people because I know it's hard to find things. We are pale. Uh, it's hard with foundations, uh, and especially like me, I have a natural undertone, and that feels harder because most of the lighter foundations they are pink. Uh, I guess that's more common that you have a cool undertone or pink undertone, and being pale then have a natural undertone. So I feel that this may be good. Maybe it's a little bit much on this side. I think this side is better. As you see, I am not good at this contouring thing at all, but I like this. This was a good shade for me. I like it. And I'm just going to use that because I have other things to try for highlighter. Of course. So for blush, I'm trying out this Instain blush from the Balm. I wanted this for such a long time, but I think they're pretty expensive. I I like blush, but I don't like to spend my money on blush. Um, but Bangerhead, a Swedish website, they had a sale on these, 
and I actually didn't buy this color. Uh, this is lace. I bought pinstripe, the darkest one, because I'm stupid like that. But I got this instead. But then I emailed them and they were like, we have made it wrong. You are going to get your pinstripe. Uh, I haven't picked up that package yet. It came today. Uh, so I'm going to use this lace. And the funny thing is... I was not sure if I'm going to take lace or pinstripe when I ordered it, but then I decided to take pinstripe and then I got this. I thought that was a little bit fun. Uh, so it looks like this. It's a super pink blush. I don't usually use this light pink blushes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use it. And what I've heard, these are super pigmented. And I don't like super pigmented blush. And we are going to see. Okay, th I think this is way too much color. Okay, so we will start. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. Okay, this is super pigmented. I just like dipped my brush and tap it off. And I still have a lot of blush on. Okay, <coughs> doesn't feel like it's super blendable. It didn't go so good with the, this highlighting stick, but okay, just dip it once. And here it didn't, it didn't go on so good and it's stuck. Maybe this is not a good brush. It just stuck it right here, I don't know if you can see it, like in the highlighting stick. So that is not good at all. On this side it's it's okay, but it didn't go well with this because this has a little bit of pink undertone. And that was pink. It didn't make a great match and here it, it's like got stuck in the... in the highlighting stick so it didn't go on so good so I powdered it over it okay so for next time I don't use the, these two together okay I think this is this is a little bit better the last thing okay I I don't know why I bought this one it was like, I started my low by year the 1st of January, it's been two weeks now and I haven't buy a thing yet. But like the last week of 2018 I shopped like crazy, it was like, oh no I can't buy anything the whole next year, I'm going crazy, I don't know, I want everything. Uh, I, I panicked a little bit. So I bought the Moonshine Glow Kit and for you who know, I have... The Aurora Glow Kit, and I haven't used this much at all. Um, so then I bought the Moon Child because I don't know. Uh, this was half price um, here in Sweden, uh, so I bought it, and it looks like this. So it's 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 a different between the Aurora and the Moon Child. I trying to open the Aurora. This is the Aurora and this is the Moonshine, so as you see, they are different. But I don't use this, so I don't know why I bought this, because this is not my typical highlighter things that I like. I think I'm going to do go all in with the pink today. So I'm going to take a pink heart, and I swatched it here on my arm on top of the Nabla glow stick, and it looks amazing. Um, they look like the same, the glow stick and this one. Uh, so I hope this will turn out good. And one thing I don't like about a forex kit is that I don't like like this glitter glittery highlighters. So that's why I bought another one. 
Okay, so I just think I need some setting spray over this. And I am using my dewy finish from NYX Eye. I bought a new one. So I went from hating this one to really love this. I really like this. Uh, I really liked how it turned out. So I really like this contour shade. It was perfect for pale me. I going to try this highlighter as well but not today because I have too much highlight right now so I'm going to try this this one God. Uh, so I really like this one I like this pink heart from the moonshine um, so maybe this is more my thing it's maybe the colors in the Aurora and not the formula that rubs me a little wrong way and the instain, um, I usually don't use this bright blushes, but it was a good blush. It was super pigmented. Um, just do not love the color, but and not with the, the other things. But absolutely going to try this more. And then for the glow stick, I really like this one. It, if you just want glow, not too much, but just a little, this was so nice. And this with the pink heart, it it looked so good. I really like this. So this was all for this video. It's pretty long. I'm sorry for that, but I have really missed filming, and um, so I want to talk a lot. And uh, yeah, I really hope you liked this video, and I will see you in the next one. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do, and I promise I will not sound like this forever. I hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So I really hope you liked this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!